welcome to Appalachia's Homestead Pateer with you today. We're really busy, still trying to get settled in at the new homestead. And in addition to just the, the, move, the typical move-in stuff, we're trying to settle everybody in, a lot of animals in, our kids in, have a decent meal, of course. Because <laughs> mom doesn't want to cook when you're doing all this stuff. But hey, we're going to risk it. We're gonna make the garden areas even bigger. <laughs> So here's the deal. We've talked about having deer on the property, but we're also getting fencing. And I just feel a call to plant more this year. I think everybody should plant where and how and if they can, the best way they know how. And expanding from one garden to making it bigger to herb gardens, then we have the garden over on the hill, and now we're gonna cut in this area because it's right next to the house, it's right next to the barn, it's snuggled in with all of my LGDs. We're gonna risk it. We may fail. Hey, guess what? <laughs> if you fail, guess what? Welcome to homesteading. Welcome to gardening and welcome to trying to be a farmer. Even if you're just trying to be. You're gonna fail. You can't worry about that. I told James, I said, you know, if the deer come in and take a third or half of what we've got, you know, at least we tried. We, we're learning. This is the thing, is when you're cutting in or cutting your teeth on this lifestyle or trying to be more self-sufficient, the only way you're gonna learn is by doing it. You gotta take You got to take that awesome advice that people give you and apply it and think about stuff and do your due diligence and your homework. But unless you get out, unless you dig that dirt, unless you're working that soil, unless you're working those crops yourself, you're not going to know. Rocky Top, you'll always be home sweet home to me. <laughs> Good old Rocky Top, woo! Rocky Top, Tennessee. Rocky Top, Tennessee. I've had years of cramped up city life, trapped like a duck in a pen. All I know that it's a pity life can't be simple again. <laughs> So I'm super excited because this is what has been talking to me, has been saying, you need to do more. You can't give up. You can't pull back. You know, the projects on the house or in the house are gonna be here. You gotta do your due diligence with what you do best, Patera. And that is standing up to your fears, whether it's a deer, whether it's a naysayer, whether it's somebody that just flat out is negative about your lifestyle. You can't listen to all that, people. You've got to do what your calling is. You've got to be self-sufficient any which way you can at this point. If you fail, you fail. But you will not fail in your own mind, in your own right, because you tried and you learned from your mistakes. So we're gonna keep you posted on this area. I have some ideas of what I wanna plant here, how I'm going to do it. Mother's Day is next week, so I don't have pressure specifically today, but in the next week or so I will. And we wanna do our best. We wanna know we hit the ground running. We did it at the last homestead, we're doing it at this homestead. Because we're proud of what we do, we're proud of who we are. And we're proud of the fact that we try and you should be too. So in any which way you can homestead, grow food at your home. Maybe you have a place at work. 
Maybe you can get together and share crop with folks. Do it, okay? Do what you can. That is your kickoff point, and that is from the point that you're going to get better and better every single year. So just to let you know, I have a lot of updates coming your way. We're putting silkies in the incubator. The baby geese are doing great. The new baby goat is doing great. I think we're gonna have some more. The chickens are transitioning very nice. And we're home. We feel at peace at where we are at and what we're doing. It's nice to be home. It's nice to feel like you're working and doing and being where the people before you did the same thing. And that's why you're here. So the saga continues, right? So we're really excited about that as well. Stay positive, folks. We appreciate your support. Our channel is growing so much and we just are so thankful you're here. Once we get a little bit more settled in, we're gonna have a lot of instructional videos coming your way because there's so much to do. I wake up on some days and I'm like, I can make a video on this. I can make a video on that because we're doing so much. So we're getting our feet grounded and we've already hit it and we're running. So stay tuned for a whole lot more. But get out there and get in the dirt. As I have always told you, always told you, go big and go homestead. Y'all take care. We'll see you on the next video.